Hey, hey, welcome to another episode. I'm Dr. Frankensteel, and today I'm going to be harvesting some zinc from pennies. I worked on a project uh, about a month ago where I was melting down some brass to make custom coins. Why custom coins? I wanted a pot of gold just for myself to be sitting like with the rest of my work. Uh, sooner or later, I'll have like a little gallery of just little stuff i've built and this will just be part of it this is not what the video is about this will be another video so stay tuned for that um if you'd like my videos want to see more like this like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos so i noticed when i was melting down the brass and pouring it into the cast i was getting two different alloys of brass, two different types now i found that there's kind of like a yellow brass and a closer to copper like i burned out the zinc in. so i wanted to find a way to where i could add the zinc back to it or if i know that the brass is going to be low quality or closer to a copper alloy i can add zinc to it question is where am i going to get the zinc from sure i can go on amazon and pay like 20 dollars for like a little bit just to add to what i need a little art project i wanted to find a way to where i could just not have to like order it or anything buy it from a store or find something readily available that i could just get the zinc out of and use for this project i don't want to look around there's got to be somewhere where i can find zinc there's zinc in something and i found out that new pennies are copper coated zinc sorry about the shaky camera they look copper but they're not they're copper coated zinc it's like uh an m m or a skittle it's got the chocolate core in the candy shell. You got the copper shell and the zinc core. So it's primarily zinc. So I'm going to show you what I did to get the zinc out of pennies. And I don't want to go one by one and melt the zinc out. I want to do mass production, getting a block out of it, getting, getting as most as I can out of it. These things are everywhere. They're down drains. Um, I know a guy that had to do a clean out of a laundromat. Their drain was clogged. He wa He told me he washed out all of the drain. Pennies came out. Penny and like spare change. Now I'm not going to be doing this regularly. This is just like a one-off thing. Experiment. Can I do it? So let's get into the video and show you what I did.
So there you have it. I got my zinc. It took a trip to the dollar store getting a strainer for a sink and a little skillet. Yes, I went to the dollar store. I didn't ruin like high end stuff and I'll, I'll have those for a little while. But it was, even if I did spend more than like $20 on it, it was still worth it for the experience and the experiment that, that I can do this. So this is penny zinc. This is a solid bar. It's probably about $3 worth of pennies. To go on amazon a block like this of zinc will probably cost you like 20 dollars because you're paying for the solid bar and shipping and handling and convenience you know i can't go sell this for three dollars hell no at the scrapyard they'll probably give me a quarter ten cents just for this block of zinc because they don't know where it came from they don't know the purity of it they don't even know if it's zinc but you want to bring stuff into the scrapyard you have to have stuff that is easy to identify what it is so if you're going to melt that penny just for the zinc to bring into the scrapyard it's not going to work because they're going to be like i don't know what that is that could be just lead i'll take it from you just to take it that's what they'll say but uh, I'm not looking to resell this. I'm looking to use this. This is uh, an experiment gone right because I got what I wanted. So hopefully you got some value from this video. Hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see future videos like this. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see this video, like and subscribe and stay tuned. This will be up soon. So have a good day.